in life before you embark on a fight you need to check if you are really ready the bible says before you build a house you need to count the cost so also in an adage in my country that says you know the beginning of a fight but you don't know the ending you know the beginning of a war you don't know the ending you might set out to go and fight with somebody and you tell yourself oh i'll beat the person based on your physical strength or i will deal with the person based on everything you have but you don't know the outcome of that war you don't know who is backing them up the war between russia and ukraine has cost the whole world a lot i want you to just imagine if i in switzerland can be feeling the cost of that war somebody in africa is feeling the cost of that war imagine what the local ukrainians will be feeling imagine what the people living close to even the russia will be feeling in this video i'm here to just talk about one or two effects of this war as it relates to someone that is close to me from a distance you're welcome family how are you all doing my name is esther and if you're seeing my face for the first time this is esther's chronicles tv yes thank you to all my returning subscribers thank you to those that keep coming back i really appreciate you thank you for the engagement and mega shout out to all my members i really really appreciate you so today um i just had this thought in my mind and i thought to put it out here this life is very very complex you're born, you grow up, you do everything possible for you to become something in life. You do everything possible for you to stay out of trouble. You do everything possible for you to just be human that just want to exist. So I happened to meet a friend recently. She's a senior friend, like I said it. Most times I always have senior friends, people that are far older than me, people that can even be my mom. I have them as friends so recently i met this lady she's an ukrainian and even before i continue please where are all our ukrainian content creators if you're a content creator watching me and you know of any ukrainian on the streets of youtube and you don't see them anymore for now please kindly check on them and if you know anyone please drop their names on the on the comment section for me i happen to know some of them like three of them but the truth is i can remember only one name for now they simply zoe and i went to her community to check i saw that she wrote there that she will be off yt for a while and she said she's home so especially for us all that always travel out of the country i just pray god will keep keeping us because you don't know what would have happened if anybody have told russia that they will go through told ukraine and russia that they will go through what they are going through now like two years ago I'm sure a lot of diasporans that are there will not believe. So I met this elderly friend. She's a Ukrainian and she's a doctor. She had to leave Ukraine because of the unsettlement. She had like three children that are already grown up. For the record, she's already 58 years old. So she decided to leave the country because of the unsettlement. She agreed with her children and she, her husband and her mom. They thought to leave the country and the best place they thought would be the best for them to reside in as a professional that she is. She's a, she's a doctor and the husband has already retired as a chemist. So they were professionals. She's 58. The husband is 64. So they decided to come to Switzerland and come with her mom. Her mom is almost 80. So they came to Switzerland as God will have it. They had a soft landing in Switzerland. They gave them a house. And like I always say, if you're coming to Switzerland, apart from you getting married to get your passport or documentation, another way is if you are a professional. But the truth is, even if you are a professional, unless you are being imported by a company as an expatriate, you might not have a soft landing because you have to now start learning language. I know some people that came from the UK to Switzerland that they don't have to learn the language before they started working mostly in banks and in it professions but if you are a doctor if, if you have to be interacting with people if you are a nurse if you are a caregiver you have to learn the language you have to in sort of a way 
learn the basics of the language before you can start working so this doctor friend of mine started learning the language and then she started learning the language and she was in the process she loved switzerland and they were trying to settle in but something happened along the line the mom i told you the mom is already 78 going to 79 she's an old woman she fell she fell down and she hit her head on the rock even as i'm telling this story it's so difficult she hit herself, her head on the rock and she passed out she passed out she was hospitalized and um i'll take a break because this is heavy i'll take a break and i'll continue this video i'll continue this video just keep watching fam keep watching so like i said the woman fell down and um when she fell down you know she's an old woman she landed with her head and then when she landed with her head she passed out they rushed her to the hospital and she was in coma for four weeks after four weeks she came to realization of herself but very very weak so she was also there for another week and then they realized that it's going to be a long the the the, the recovery would take a very long time so what they did was that um they decided to take her to a palliative center so in switzerland if you don't know we there's something called i think it's not even switzerland let me just use opportunity to explain what it means when they say somebody is in a palliative condition if you're sick and you're not getting healed on time or if you have an accident and your recovery is going to take a long time or in most cases for the old people you know old age comes with different ailments today you can be sick tomorrow you can be down and if it gets to a point that you are really really old and you're not getting well and they cannot leave you in the hospital if you're sick you can't be on the hospital bed for so long because other people that are sick also need the this, the, the the hospital bed so if you are in coma they will normally in switzerland they will normally take you to like a home where you'll be given a palliative care yes a palliative care means that you're not getting well on time and you need to be attended to rather than being at home and you can't be in the hospital as well so they will take you to that center they'll be giving you your drug they'll be administering things to you if your case is so serious that you need to see a doctor they will send you a doctor in switzerland we have lots of old people's home just like every other does or every other foreign country and most people that are aged like in switzerland 80 is normal you see a lot of people that are 80 90 most of them they can never stay at home with their children or even on their own they have to now go to the old people's home and some of them can be very very sick such that sometimes when they wake up in the morning you think they are gone but by the time you start taking care of them you realize that they're still alive so they are going through what they call the palliative care until when they will give up the ghost so this mama had to be taken to a, like an old people's home even though she was not there because of she's really really old but just because she was so sick and they cannot leave her at home so it was on that point one of those days i saw this woman and we were talking and because i also know how do you leave your country so you leave your own country running for safety and then you come to another country and meet your waterloo that was the condition of this old woman anyway she was taken to the palliative home and she was there she was there in the pallet she was there in the home for a while so what happened is that the daughter will go and visit her from morning to evening she will go back home and just watching her lifeless sometimes sometimes she will come up and take her drugs and she was there for like another three or four weeks and as at the time i'm recording this video she has already given up the ghosts so like i said that got me thinking and i start to really think that what is in this life what is in this life 
sometimes we are in a place where we don't know what can happen the next minute you don't know nobody knows what can happen the next minute because if not that the war happened in ukraine there was no way a 58 young a 58 year old woman who is practicing as a doctor in her country who want to come to switzerland and coming to switzerland with her mom and the mom giving up the ghost it's really really painful so that is one after effects of the Ukraine on somebody that I don't know her personally, but at least I got the opportunity of knowing her for a while. She's still in Switzerland. The lady is still in Switzerland. And as at the time of recording this video, unfortunately, her mom was buried. That's a, an old woman that left her grandchildren in Ukraine. I also saw a video of a guy that was probably um, working in the Ukraine. He's a black guy. And he had to travel all the way from Ukraine to Deutschland. But as soon as he got to Deutschland, he was maltreated. Even though this guy has money in his bank account in Ukraine, he couldn't assess it. He has his own booming business in Ukraine. He couldn't assess it. You know, so he became a refugee in Deutschland again. What about all these are content creators? And I know somebody, like two people also that are studying in Ukraine. Now they are back to Nigeria. So at the end of the day, there's nowhere that is safe. Let's just keep living right and keep praying for the nation, or the nations of the world in general. Because even me, sometimes in Switzerland, I, I always think about it. If anything happens now, <laughs> if anything happens now, what do I do? Of course, we'll go back home. So sometimes before you jackpa, before you travel to study, before you live where you are, Always think of that uncertainty that can happen. And let's always and always anchor our trust on God. My heart goes out to you, sis. I don't want to call your name. Sorry for losing your mom in Switzerland. And if you were in Ukraine, it could have also happened if it will happen. But it's a sad one. And I thought to just share this moment. And um, thank you if you have watched you this extent. I'm wishing you all an amazing summer ahead. Please, as we all go out for the holidays, as we all, you know, just, the kids are going to be on holiday. Let's just be careful. Because I saw something also. I saw a video of uh, one of our content creators, even my member, the person, a mega shout out to you. Mrs. Brown Chronicles sharing a video of a woman losing three of her children. They left the kids at home and the children, they came out of the house is an estate that has a swimming pool. I think, unfortunately, those children went to the swimming pool and they have they don't know how to swim. Somehow, somehow, those children, the three of them, passed on. Like so, that's another thing. Is a lesson for me, even as we'll be going on holidays. Let's just be careful. Let's just be watchful and put our trust in God. Put our trust in God. Thank you for watching, guys. Please leave me a comment. I love to read from you. It's your girl Esther. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.